All right, this is going to be my uh, video review of the 2013 Cricut Travel Trailer. Uh, I've had it about six months or so, and uh, I've gotten comfortable with it, and I thought I'd share uh, what it's all about with y'all. Um, first thing is this trailer is about 1,500 pounds, uh, fully loaded, and as you can see, uh, the tongue weight is not all that much. It's a... Uh, around 160 pounds so your pretty light travel trailer uh, pretty uh, light car can um, haul this no problem um, it comes with a uh, 7 pin uh, connector so you do need that on your car uh, you could use a 7 to 4 uh, adapter and that would give you the lights but it's not going to give you uh, the circuit for the electric brakes or the circuit for uh, charging the batteries. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, it's got a crank uh, wheel. Uh, the wheel does come off. You see that pin? So if you, uh, you take that off and the wheel can come right off. Um, I'll just jack this up and get that scale out of there. And set her back down. There you go. Anyway, um, it's got a level bubble to kind of help you uh, get her level. You can crank it down until it gets in the center there. Um, what else you got? I got this. Uh, a lot of options on this thing uh, that kind of drove up the price, but uh, I thought they were well worth getting. Uh, namely, this uh, metal toolbox. It's got a lock. It's really sturdy. Of course, proudly made in the USA. Um, it's pretty roomy, considering this is a little trailer. Uh, I keep a cord in there and my wheel jack. Uh, that cable is for my uh, attached to solar panels. You can attach them to the uh, seven plunk plug and use your charging circuit. So that's a neat thing. Uh, some fuel bottles. I have a, a butane uh, cook stove like you'd use on a boat. I also have a, some LP appliances, so I have those little bottles. Um, I use the uh, uh, X Hose Pro, which uh, I'm really pleased with. This is a very versatile 25 foot hose, weighs just a few ounces, and takes up just a little bit of room. Seems to hold up good. Anyway, it's on a strut to hold it open, so it's not a whole lot to tell you about that. Um, the uh, construction of this thing is not fiberglass. You look at this and think it's a fiberglass uh, body, but what this is, is a aluminum sandwich. It's aluminum on the outside, aluminum on the inside, with uh, styrofoam in the middle. Uh, it's very strong, um, and there's a uh, aluminum exoskeleton that joins all these panels together. Uh, it's kind of neat constructed. Um, the uh, frame underneath is steel to give it strength, uh, but overall it's a pretty lightweight trailer. Uh, you can dent this. You know, uh, fiberglass can crack, but aluminum can dent. So if you had a sharp object bang hard in this, you will put a dent in it. But other than that, just normal wear and tear, it's uh, pretty strong stuff. Um, it comes with 15-inch uh, aluminum wheels and tires. It, uh, the bigger tires give you a like, smoother ride. Uh, this is on a torsion axle. Uh, it's uh, basically uh, the axle is encased in rubber, and there's a control arm that uh, the wheel is connected to, and uh, it dampens... Uh, any vibrations and ruts in the road really well and uh, you don't have all the bulk and the stiffness of leaf springs like you would on a utility trailer uh, those can be kind of bouncy and rattle all your stuff around uh, underneath here is the uh, gray water tank uh, discharge uh, you don't have a black water system on this trailer you just have gray water and what that does is you can hook a regular garden hose to this fitting and then dump it to wherever proper dumping would be. Or you could open it up if you're in a place where you can dump gray water, which is just soapy sink water, uh, to the ground. You could do that too. Or wait till you get home and dump it in the sewer, uh, the, the storm drain, whatever. Um, that's up to you. Uh, I always use a proper discharge. Um, you can see underneath the steel frame, it's all powder coated and be hard pressed to rust. It's uh, all bolted connections. Um, that's kind of hard to see, but as you can see, here's the uh, gray water tank. It's a pretty big tank. It's 12 gallons, and uh, uh, 
the uh, back behind the axle is the uh, fresh water tank. You can see that. But um, the only thing is, I think you can camp in this in cold weather, but uh, you're not going to want to use the water systems in really cold weather because you, cause you can see all this piping and the tanks are exposed. So you could either uh, spray and foam insulate all that and use it in cold weather, or you could um, you could just not use the water system and dry camp uh, in the winter if you were going to go ice fishing or whatever. Uh, this would be a good uh, home base for that. Uh, on the outside, you've got, um, uh, of course, it's got aluminum, nice hard aluminum fenders, which if you see most modern RVs, they're all plastic, and as soon as you hit something on the road, it just tears the RV up. I think these would uh, withstand a pretty big impact. All right, you've got, um, here's your service connectors. You've got uh, your potable water, which uh, you hook a garden hose to this. Uh, this is if you want to be in a campground and, and hook up to full-time water, and it'll pressurize the system. You don't have to use your internal pump and use the tank. Um, but this is a garden hose connector. This is uh, water to the uh, water tank. It's just a gravity fill. Uh, I cut off the end of a hose so it has, you know, a non-threaded connector. And just shove it in there, and when it overflows, you're full. And then you've got your uh, your uh, 15 amp power connector. This is just a standard uh, drop cord like you'd get at Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, it's 15 amp. Uh, this is all sealed. You can't um, you can't uh, move any water getting in there. Um, but uh, this uh, takes just a standard cord and. Uh, it will charge your batteries. It's got an onboard charger, but also powers the uh, ins uh, outlets inside. Um, all your external lights are LEDs. All your tail lights, and these are this is a side marker light. Um, you got heavy metal steps so that you can access the rack on the roof. Uh, what this comes with is a Thule brand rack, and those are nice because um, it's fully adjustable. You can set them anywhere on this track along the roof, uh, but it's pretty universal. I've got the Thule uh, kayak rack. You can see I got my little boat attached up top. Uh, using the step, it's still. I mean, you you have to be able to lift 30, 40 pounds over your head to you you know take advantage of this because uh, you got to get it up there and down there safely without falling over. But um, what you do is you just set the front of the boat in the front uh, rack, and then you kind of slide her up and lift her up over uh, the second rung. And then you go, then it's all supported and you can tie it down. Um, the uh, bike rack, on the other hand, uh, it's kind of the same principle. I had to adjust the racks to get both of these items to fit on here. But uh, you just have to be able to lift the bike and set it in there, strap it down. Once you get its weight on there and then you uh, get the frame support on, uh, then it's just a matter of strapping her down. Um, but again, it's kind of a bulky, odd item that will uh, can throw you off balance if you're trying to get it up there. So, you know, you have to consider whether you, using this is something that you can do and, and be willing to do. Plus, your uh, your uh, height is now probably uh, about nine feet. So think about that, too. Um, anyway, you got another uh, step. Of course, uh, you got a uh, external 12-volt outlets. You got a lot of 12-volt outlets you'll see inside, uh, but uh, those are convenient to use. Uh, if you set yourself up all your camping gear for 12 volt, you really can dry camp and you're in really good shape. There's no light, and of course uh, you've got a entry step and a very wide 30 inch entry door. Uh, and then it's got a bump stop uh, to hold the door open for it to rest on. So if the wind blows it, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, so let's uh, start checking out the the inside. Um, You've got this wide, uh, let's see if I can open it, close it. Uh, you've got this wide uh, door that you can um, use to access the back. It's kind of nice, if you've seen any of the other videos, that um, you can set this right up at the beach and, um, you know, right up against the water if you want to and, and enjoy the water sitting inside your little trailer. Uh, it does have a... a stabilizing jacks and these are they they're on a crank and you crank them down 
and they help stabilize the any rocking motion when you're in the trailer unhooked to the car uh, you know the tires are gonna have some give to them so if you want a nice solid foundation under your feet you'd lower these um, they're not for leveling the trailer you want to carry some blocks to do that uh, because they don't have the strength to uh, lift this trailer you know you don't want one wheel off the ground but um, it does a fine job stabilizing. I usually don't go to the trouble because uh, the movement doesn't really bother me that much. Anyway, I got the V-Birth model and I've set, since it's so dark here in my garage, I sent up a, a temporary light so you can see better. But uh, as you can see, this is a, it's a big bed. You can set this up as a, a twins. Um, the table folds down and there's a, a spare cushion you see over here that uh, allow you to make this big queen bed, but uh, I've never had to do that. I think this is more than adequate. Uh, they're Velcroed to the uh, bases here, and all the Cricut trailers, whatever model you get, all this furnishing is modular, can be rearranged, reorganized, reconfigured, or removed. You could have this one big empty trailer if you wanted. But um, I liked, I opted for the V-Birth. I didn't like the folding couch. I didn't think it was an efficient use of the space because I carry a bunch of junk when I go camping. As you can see, I've got this big section. I've got um, my big camp stove. Uh, it's too big to fit in the kitchen area, so I put it back here. And uh, as you can see, you've got uh, big uh, storage compartments. I've got my outside uh, area with my chairs and a folding table. I have room for my toolbox right here, which I'll put in later. Another big uh, empty space. Uh, this is the, there's a little awning package. It gives you just a little bit of awning space so you can get out of the rain on the outside of the trailer over the doorway. Um, and it comes with a roadside kit that, uh, and some flares. I don't think I'll ever use this stuff. Uh, and it's some chintzy wheel chucks like the kind you get at Walmart. Uh, and a jack. But um, underneath there's a the spare tire. Let me show you that underneath. Um, in case you had a flat. It does come with a full aluminum wheel, which I thought was interesting. But um, you take that off, change your tire, and be back on your way. Um, then you got this big, uh, oh, the uh, there are tie downs in this thing everywhere. And so you could hold this up if you had some big bulky item in here. If you're using this like a utility trailer on the weekend, you can hold these up. There's tie downs everywhere. You see uh, bungees, hooks. Uh, you can uh, just get regular bungees you get at Walmart. And you could put like your bedding, your camp roll, go up here, or pillows, or whatever. And uh, so that's kind of neat. And uh, some compartments are kind of sealed up so you can't really stuff anything in them. But this is the electrical, and there were screws for this, I took them out. But um, this is your electrical bay. And you can see you've got your 12 volt uh, circuits, you've got your uh, battery charger, and then you got an outlet. Uh, the battery charger hooks into one of these so that when you're plugged into shore power it'll charge your batteries. The other I've got uh, I've got this guy plugged into so I can like wheel this out and um, I can uh, I can uh, use it for any kind of accessories I have at my campsite. And um, over here this is where some of your uh, water services are this is your fill, and uh, this is your gravity fill, and this is your city water. Uh, and then this is like an overflow uh, drain. So uh, you could stuff something in here, I guess, if you wanted to. I wouldn't put anything, maybe something you use very occasionally in there. But uh, anyway, so let's, let's go around to the front and uh, see what else we got. Um, Like I said, you've got a big door, very big door, uh, which is nice because it gives you access in here, just unfettered access. As you can see, this is all very spacious. Um, what I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to pop the top. But I wanted to show you first that, um, you know, you, could, uh, you can sit in here and have lunch along the side of the highway. Get what you need out of the kitchen and uh, out of the fridge here and, uh, or even take a nap. And there's more than enough height, especially more than you'd find in like a teardrop trailer. Uh, so that's uh, kind of nifty, because once you raise the top, it's easy to raise the top, but it is a little bit of effort. And uh, let me show you what you do. First, 
you go up here to the front and you see this handle here this allows you to open and close but you gotta take the safety pin out and uh, then she's uh, then you pull this lever back and now you pull this out and she's sort of armed ready to go uh, it's a pretty safe system it's not gonna just spring up on you uh, and then you go in here and um, uh, you see there's a latch on each side and you can take these latches and, and release them. Now notice how this is all tucked very carefully. All the canvas is tucked in a certain way because you don't want to pinch it or rip it. So you got to be careful when you put her back. But anyway, for this exercise, we'll just go ahead and, and release. But little thoughtful details like this neoprene rub strip so you can't dent or gouge the aluminum. That's what I like. There's these little details. Everything's so rugged and well thought out. But um, we're going to go ahead and release this one. Okay. So now you're all released. And then you go, well, what do you do now? Well, you see this? Okay, then what you do is you lift her up. Push this forward. And uh, voila, standing room height. And then just for safety, you want to pull these latches down. But you can see you got full standing height. This is about, I'm 5'10", and this is about another six inches over my head. So plenty of, uh, plenty of uh, space. Um, well, there you go. Um, all of the, uh, you got zippered, um, window so you can um, open these up and get some ventilation in here uh, there's another one in the back here and uh, so those are all real nice um, the windows in each of the windows has the day night shades so uh, they're fully you can fully open them and all the windows are sheltered so the European style double uh, thermal uh, but they're plastic so I suppose they could be scratched but uh, they're thermal so you got two panes which is nice but you can either uh, open up just have a screen or you can pull them down and have uh, total dark darkness dark shades so they're I guess day night shades um, so those are a nice feature uh, every window well the one in the back uh, the one on the sides uh, this front one doesn't have that. Uh, the one in the door does. As you can see, it's got the same day-night setup. Um, so that's real nice. Um, what else? Uh, I got another option here. I got the uh, 110 outlet, which uh, is a nice uh, thing to have. It pops down, so you have a flush countertop. And then you just pull this, it pops up. I got my AC ref uh, my refrigerator plugged in there, just in case. Uh, you've got a nice uh, sink. Ooh, yuck. Uh, you got a nice sink, which uh, lifts up, and you got hot and cold water, of course. And um, so that's big enough to do the dishes in. Um, and then you still can have a nice open counter space. Um, I've got my uh, space for porta potty. Uh, Mike got my dry flush toilet, which you've seen on my other video. And then you've got the uh, shower control is right here, and uh, it's got a shower head which uh, you can do marine type shower, you know, with just the on off. And then you've got um, your mixing valve is right here. So this controls um, your hot and cold. Um, and how the shower works is there is a shower curtain. And it's on a track. And you can see the track runs around the ceiling. And uh, you can roll this around you if you want to shower inside and then there's a drain on the floor and um, so this whole area sloped down to this drain so you're all the water if you spill something or you want to take a shower here you can um, it'll drain right to there and into the tank uh, or you can just step outside with that shower head and um, have a shower um, what else you got lots of store uh, cubbies you got one here for uh, odds and ends I keep bags and like things together and then you've got uh, places plenty of place for pots and pans and dishes uh, I keep my little stove down there and a wash bucket and then that's got a nice spot you can have two of these big bins and, and like have a whole trips worth of supplies uh, you could put your dry goods in there or 
maybe one for clothes and I don't know whatever you want to do and then I have a bag of bags of course for trash but see all the neat little uh, places to strap things down to this thing's full of them um, refrigerator this is something I didn't order with uh, the trailer but once I had it I was really wanting it so uh, this is something they do offer you can have pre-installed but I ordered this uh, it's all electric so it runs off the batteries and it's got this base on the floor, a seven base, so this is not going anywhere uh, unless I release it. And uh, it runs on a couple of amps. And uh, people go for days and days uh, saying that these angles can really hold up. Uh, but it also will switch between AC and DC, so hence I got a plug if I, want, if I have short power. Um, under uh, the seats here at the table, this is where your batteries are. I got two group 31 batteries so that's about 200 amp hours I suppose 210 amp hours together so that's a good long time running this little fridge and some of my uh, my laptop or you know other DC appliances um, another storage compartment that's the short table uh, short leg for this table if you want to fold this table down to uh, the height of the cushions and put that put this other cushion in there uh, you put that support post in. Uh, under here you got a place for uh, just shoes. You tuck things under here but it's nice that that's on a piano hinge and hinges up. Um, along the back you see there's uh, there's little cubbies along both sides of these uh, these uh, cushions so you have more places. I have some manuals and a couple other things. Be a good place to put your laptop I guess. Um, you have LED lights built in. If I can uh, figure out, oh, I got to turn them. You turn them on, but uh, but uh, the neat thing about these is they switch between uh, day and night. Let's see if I can remember how to do it. Yeah, you got day and night, and. Uh, This is a um, this is just an add-on device I picked up to measure um, how I'm charging. And you can see um, my battery charger is throwing quite a charge. Then this is your control panel. You've got uh, exterior lights. Uh, you've got interior lights, which uh, are these little guys. And uh, you've got the water pump. And then you've got the hot water heater. This has an electric, uh, three liter electric water heater. And let me tell you something, that produces some hot, hot, hot water in about 30 minutes. Um, I don't know how much juice it uses. I didn't have any problem last trip I took. Uh, but, um, you know, if you're used to being in a tent or a teardrop, this is a pretty good step up. I, I'm enjoying it thoroughly. And um, it's... Uh, I think well worth the money considering all you're getting. All right, and here's the exterior with the top up. You can see it gives you a lot more height. But um, that's my uh, review of the uh, 2013 uh, Cricut trailer. Thank you.